now we want to talk about the quotient now so you start with the cw complex or the cw pair x comma a because a is a sub complex of x so x by a consists of cells in x minus a with a reduced to a point yeah so i'm saying it again x modulo a consists of cells in x minus a with a reduced to a point so this will be more clear with an example you take the disk modulo its boundary so we have done this multiple times so it should be clear now so so the example is t2 you draw the disk now let us draw its boundary Yeah, so collapse the boundary to a single point and uh, what is dn minus its boundary is what is remains outside so you see you get a sphere as two yeah it's very clear so again you have taken the boundary and collapse it to a point precisely how x by a is used what is suspension again you take a cell complex and take its product with the interval this interval is 0 to 1 you collapse x times 0 to a point and you collapse the other end x times 1 also to a point So this is to donated as Sx or Sama X, summation X or Sigma X. So this is how we sometimes say this, this is suspension of X. So example, so we are taking s1 times i that is we have drawn s1 let's draw the interval from 0 to 1 go to 1 right 1 here 0 here 1 here 0 here so let us write this down s1 times the interval so collapse the top part and the bottom part the top part is x times 1 and the bottom part is x times 0 this is collapsed to 0 top part is collapsed to 1 notice that this is equivalent to a sphere homotopically equivalent the sphere s2 so you see in general some sn minus 1 gives you sn just like some S1 gave you S2. What if you take just the upper part? Uh, you forget about the lower hemisphere, just take the upper part, it's called the cone of X. So X times 1, this is how we precisely write it modulo X times 0, that is just the upper hemisphere upper cone so let us just draw it here so just have the upper cone yeah that is it that is the cone so now we want to talk about wedge sum so the given spaces x and y we choose two distinguished points x not in x and y not in y so x wedged with y will be first take the disjoint union and then identify these distinguished points so 
traditional example is say S1 wedged with S2. This is S1. Now I have to create a distinguished point in it. Say this is X0. X is S1. What is Y? Y, let us take it as a sphere. Then mark its distinguished point now. So this is space Y, the distinguished point Y0. This is how the wedge product will look like. They are joined together at a single point. So now let us do S1 wedged with S1. What we will get is a figure 8. We have drawn x and y we need to find distinguished points so let's mark these distinguished points yeah you see the two distinguished points now we identify together so what we get is a figure 8 so i have just transposed the figure so that it looks like figure 8 as mentioned in hatchet next part is smash product Again we have two spaces x and y and we have two distinguished points x0 in x and y0 in y. Now x times y has copies of both x and y. Yeah. So what is a copy of x? So copy of x is nothing but x times this distinguished point y0 and what is a copy of y? This is nothing but x0 times y, distinguished copy of y, so x0 times y. So now we identify these two copies together via the wedge sum we just find above. So these two copies in the product are identified together. And what we get is a smash product. So let us write what the smart product would be now. We have identified these two distinguished copies x times y modulo this fetch product. Now this will be more clear in an, in an example. So we have already done an example of s1 times s1 the torus. So let's do it again and then wedge it with a figure 8. So let us do it. We again write our product so this is s1 times s1 it's exactly how we wrote it before so what is this cell this is a point in x0 because this is e0 and then entire space s1 is y what is this this is x times y0 where x is s1 this is just the intersection so it should be a zero cell and this is a two cell so we have identified the this uh, these two parts yeah as required so these two parts actually form the figure eight so what we get is a zero cell and a two cell actually what we get is an s2 that is this as E0 and E2. Yeah, E1 plus E1 is E2, 1 plus 1. E0 plus E0 is still 0, that is the 0 cell. A very important remark which I'm going to use again later on, so you should remember this. So, in general, 
SM smashed with SN is nothing but a sphere SM plus N. Now which is clear from here. Yeah, this is SM times SN. And it is fetched with SM and SN. So that is pretty clear. The only cells which will remain here are one zero cell and one M plus N cell. Other two cells will cancel out or get modulated. 